Oh, shush. Hey there, hey there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another OTP tournament. And today we have ourselves matchups from Anaheim Stadium or Anaheim Football Stadium, home to the LA Rams, the former home of the LA Rams. As the Orioles take on the 86 Astro, I mean the 86 Angels, the starting lineup, the starting pitching lineup, Dave McDowell against Jim Sladen. Now, the Angels made a change. They didn't like their their number five guy, Roberto Lugo, so they went with Sladen instead. The Orioles have starting George Sleisler, DH, Sizzler, Cover Ripken at short, Ken Williams in left, Frank Robinson in right, Eddie Murray in first, Brooks Robinson at third, Brian Roberts at second, Paul Blair at center, Rick Dempsey at catcher. On the other side, the 86 Angels have Gary Pettis in center, Bobby Birch at second, Willie Joyner at first, Brian Downing in left, Doug DeSensis at DH, Devon White in right, Rick Burleson at short, Jack Hall at third, and Daryl Miller at catcher. The stats, Baltimore is 19 and 15 in their division. The Angels are 15 and 19 in their division. Baltimore has done better on the road than at home based on percentages, but they are 4-1 in extra inning games and 7 during the last 10. The Angels, on the other hand, at home, they're decent. On the road, they're just putrid. They have not played an extra inning game, which is unusual, and they're 2-8 and eight in the last 10. The Orioles in the American League with hitting, the only thing in the top 10 is, is strikeouts with 106, the few strikeouts. Not getting a lot of strikeouts compared to the Angels with 145. The Angels have not done so well getting hits. The Orioles are okay. Pitching wise, the Angels are third in FAP IP. I don't know what the heck that is. And third in efficiency, but they're terrible in strikeouts. They only had 88 whips. And no, obviously, Nolan Ryan did not pitch for them. I know you used to be an Angels pitcher. The Orioles, on the other hand, fifth in division, interesting, and ninth in getting up the fewest walks. So, we we'll, shall see. The Orioles can do something in Anaheim against the 86 Angels. Good evening from Anaheim Stadium. Baltimore's fourth in the AL East, Anaheim sixth in the AL West. Partly cloudy, wind blowing up to left. Jim Slayton will face George Sizler, who's a pretty good hitter. Second in batting average. Sizler, right to the second baseman. You could see and I team was a whole lot different with being enclosed because of the football team. I don't think you'll see any advertisements, so that's different. Ripken ripped it to third, right to Mr. Howell. There's Kenny Williams. And ball four. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my um a controller for the volume. Going for the stolen base. Oh, he was not even close. William. And William thought he had it, but Miller has cut down a lot of people. And now Pettis will face Dave McNally. He's a good pitcher. Pettis to center field. Back and catchable by Mr. Blair. Here's Gritch. Gritch to right field. Really up and caught by Robinson. Two out for Joyner. Joyner to left field. And caught easily by Williams. <coughs> He's an Angels and no score. Now, of course, you'll see the subtlety of this hand I've seen compared to the most. Frank Robinson's got 11 strikeouts and we'll walk. Here comes Murray. Round ball, 6 4 3. Only the first because it's on his glove side. Robinson to second for Brooks Robinson. Brooks slams at the left field. Back at the fence. Say, get back that one. Brooks Robinson. And that's two for the Orioles. Beautiful job. He is a decent home run threat. If I do say so myself. And now here's Brian Roberts. And ball four. Sladen's got it. There's something here. Just Blair. And safe. So Roberts, 10 for 13 in steals. Pitch. Loop to right. And drops in. 
And Roberts might go home with the save. Paul Blair makes it 3 0 Orioles. Slade and Kimmy because they didn't trust their other guy. But anyway, they're going for a steal. And Miller gets Blair. Second time in three attempts. Baltimore's been swiped. Ball rocketed to left field. Back of the fence. Say goodbye. That one. Rick Dempsey with a home run. He's not a home run threat. And it's 4 0 Orioles. I think Sladen's going to have to be tank. Look at the bullpen. I really don't like this because look at all the look at all the bullpen. All that. Because the only guy there is got like three pitchers, so I'm gonna call I'm gonna probably Yeah, we'll go the half inning route. Because of the way the bullpen is, I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Oh, 6 3 on the scorecard. I feel bad that I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did every wins. But the Angels pitching staff really sucked compared to most. Blair makes the catch. Wait, you're on ball 6 3? Yeah. So Baltimore's already up 12 nothing. Hmm. So pop up right to Ripken. I wish there was a mercy rule. Here's how. How will dunk it into right center field. So that's the first base runner for the Angels today. And a double. Here comes Merrill Miller. Miller, ground ball, let him go to third. That makes it two outs. So now that means Pettis must get a hit. Bet he doesn't. McNally gets him. Pettis goes down looking. 12 nothing. Well, Sladen going to go with Lucas and put him in the game. Game lock. Well, the top of the third, Murray got a single. Robinson hit a double to make it fall. Well, Murray got the third and then went home safe, so it's RBI double for Brooks. Brian Robinson hit a single, making Robinson go third. Paul Blair walked, bases loose, for Rick Dempsey, who walked on a ball four count to get an RBI. George Seisler grounded out, scoring Roberts. Hal Ripken hit a single, scoring two runs. Ken Williams then singled, ripped into third. Frank Robinson took a walk. Eddie Murray hit a base hit to score Ripken. Brooks Robinson scored an RBI single. Brian Roberts gets a sack fly, and then Blair went out. So eight runs on seven hits. So nothing doing there. Yeah, but we're talking about the game. And Rich is caught looking. McNally gets back to back strikeouts. Yeah, it's like the pitching matchups are not really that good. Boy ball the right and caught by Robinson. Here comes Downing. And ball four. I know we didn't do the BNN report, but six. Oh, Ripken. He had an easy throw, but he botched it. The second error. Wow. All I had to do it was just flip it. Right to right, he's gonna get out. So at least that didn't ruin things for the Orioles. Twelve nothing in the fifth. Got to the pitching. Um, do I want to go with Lucas or no? Yeah, that's that. That's not just happening. Twelve nothing. Here's Robinson. Robinson ground ball right to the grass, but they still got him. Here's Murray. All right, the first throw. Yep. Robinson will have to go as long as he can. Well, Lucas. Brooks Robinson, three for three. He's four for four. He's looking huge. 
but I, it hit. Here's Robin. Roberts. Roberts to right. That will slice through the outfield. And let's see if Brooks wants to go home. Nope. Double for Roberts. His ninth double. Second and third for Paul Blair. But he's out. Lucas does his job. It's 12 nothing Baltimore. Now it's Burleson. Down ball Ripken. This time he's got a good throw. Here's how. And ball four. Ooh. Well, he's done 51 pitches, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Miller. To left field and caught. Pettis. Floater to first. And now being out. So McNally has really. He doesn't really need to worry about it too far. 12 nothing. That's look at the box score. 12 runs on 14 hits. One in. California's got one hit, and that's it. And that was a double by Howell. So Brooks has went deep his second. Rick Dempsey went deep his first. Four RBIs are ready for Brooks Robinson. McNally would love to. Jim Sladen walked eight. So he had set the regular season record for walks in a game. Now well, he's given up all the runs. Because they didn't want to get into their bullpen. They couldn't really go too deep into their bullpen. 6-3 on the scorecard. And there's Heisler. To left field. I think they're tying themselves out. There's Ripken. Ground ball, 6-3. And that's a play. So Lucas has done pretty well for himself. I think he's probably going to pitch the rest of the game. I bet. Gritch, the center, and caught by Robinson. So Blair, my fault. Here's Joyner. Joyner to left field. We'll let it drop. That's only the second hit for the Angels today. Here's Downey. Got him. My fastball from McNally. I think McNally will go as far as he can and maybe pitch a shutout. Base hit for DeCensus. First and second for Devo. Ball four. Oof. He loads the bases. That's his third walk. Can Burleson give a run? Not this time. A curveball. McNally's down the fence block. They're on to the seventh. Williams is two for three, so they will let him hit. And good move. Well, he's done pretty well, so you want to give him a chance. Greg Robinson's 0 for 2. They will yank him. It will be Baby Jill, Baby Doll, Tucker, Jacobson. And Baby Doll will bounce a base hit. So, big move for Jacobson. Eddie Murray's 2 for 4. They'll let him hit. Murray to center and up tag nope. Spence it in tag. One out for Brooks Robinson. He's four for four. And I think they wanted to walk him. Ryan Roberts is two for two. Bases loaded. Chance to get something. Yep, he got one. And I think that's it. Yep. So he's got an RBI and makes it thirteen to nothing. Uh, Paul Blair's one for three. They will. Ace is loaded with one out, and you have a chance at a sack fly. Instead, instead he grabs him to do a double play. I think they're going to yank Blair out, too. So, Baby Della Jacobson will play right for Paul Blair, will be yanked for Adam Jones. So yeah, so Adam Jones will come into the game and play center. McNally's thrown 83 pitches, so he hasn't hit the 100 pitch mark yet. Well, he's got a shutout going, so he dare not get over the guy. Miller. That's a base hit for him. 
So he's gonna have a thing now. Oh for three. I think this is where the angels will make their moves. Hendrick will come in for Pettis. So yeah, Hendrick will come in for Pettis. Hendrick to right field. Looks sketchable. It is by Jacobson. Gritch is 0 for 3. They're going to yank him. And go with Will Fong. He's only played six games. But Will Fong's coming in. Will Fong. They'll go to first. To get the out. So Hendrick will move to. Right field, Devon goes to center, and Wilfon goes to second. Dempsey's one for three, they will yank him. Yep, they will yank him for Severides. Who does this done for and he's given up? He's done pretty well. But he's thrown 70 pitches. I think you gotta go to play for it. They're going to go with Clifford. I don't want to go anymore, but Clifford will come in. Here's Severate. Severate, grab ball, right to the first baseman. Sizer's one for four. He will yank for Harlan Clift. They're going to go with Clift. Cliff to center. Sketchbook. And it is. So Cliff is out. And here comes Ripken. I know he's got two RBIs, but he's not doing so hot. So it's Belanger who will come into the game. Mark Belanger. So Belanger is coming in. Now I'm ball 6 3. So Clifford does his job. Mark Belanger will be center field and Severed will catch. Jones went for three, so we'll see what he can do. A Q shot. But he still got him. Downing has yet to get a hit, so he will be knocked out for Reggie Jackson. And got him. Oof. His fifth strikeout of the day. The senses is one for three, so might as well let him hit. That's easy way to get a hit. To left field and caught by Williams. So McNally has been doing Elper. So. so Reggie. Reggie refused. We'll move Hendrick to left field. Ken Williams is three for three, four. Williams to left and cut. Amy Dahl is coming in. And ball four. So burn. He's injured. And they'll take him out. Ooh. Johnny Moore will come into the game. I would have learned with that other guy who refused to play. Amy Murray wants to hit more. The center. And cut. By Devo. Here comes Brooks Robinson. Four for four. But they'll walk him. I figured they would. Here's Roberts to center. Drops in. Going for an RBI. He's got it. So Roberts does his job. 14 nothing. Adam Jones. Garambo. More once. Well, got it. So 14 nothing Orioles. So 
So Devo's out for Rupert Jones. Burleson will be out for Schofield. I think that's it. Well, Gus Paul. Jack Hal out for Polydor. I think that's it. Well, Wally Joyner. Yeah, so they're making some moves. With the bench. McNally walks. Ooh. McNally's throwing 109 pitches, but he has thrown a shutout. Schofield. Run ball, double play. Yes, he does. Here's Polydor. Come up, right to Ripken, and Baltimore easily wins 14 nothing. Four hits given up by the Royals. Just four. 14. Well, they went slated in for 12 runs, but Baltimore, I think, just gave up everything. Azir is now 3.04, which is pretty good. Don't you think? The RBI totals. Four by four by Frank by Brooks Robinson, three by Roberts, two by Rickman and Dempsey. Four hits got Joyner, DeSensis, Howell, and Miller for the only ones who got hits. Off of David Nelly, who's now three point oh four. Slayton played a lot. Claiborne and Donnie Moore. Claiborne was injured. Wonder Brooks Robinson's the number one star of the week. Of the day, sorry. No, he's number three, Joe Adcock. Seven for ten in a loss to the Cardinals. How many minutes did that last? Ray Langford second for his seven RBI day. That game must have taken a long time because he went four for eight and Brooks Robinson third. Anyway, scores. Puerto Rico wins seven two. They're now double digits. Downs beats Cheney. Boston wins eight four over the night win twins. Lester beats Banks. Papelbaum the same. The 1905 Giants beat the 69 Expos. Wilts beats Robertson. Yankees win 5 3. They're hot start. They're now got an 800 winning percent clip. Guitry's now 8 and 0. Wow. Jared Richard finally loses the game for Houston. Wow. Rivera is 10 safe. He's still at triple zero for ERA. The 80 Astros beat the Marlins thanks to Danny Wally's home run. Zambito beats Levon Hernandez. In the 12th inning, Texas beats Oakland. Homers by Frank Howard and Juan Gonzalez. Oakland had two homers by Reggie. For ten. Zimmerman beats Blue. The Twins beat the 82 Brewers 3-2. Leonard beats Haas with Nathan the save. Candlestick. The 93 Giants win 22-11-7 over the 64 Cardinals, even though they give up five in the ninth. Swift beats Broglio. Rogers the save. The LA Angels win 2-1 over the Boston Braves. All the runs were in the first inning. Lackey beats Beasley with Percival the save. 85 Royals win 5 3. Kuziba beats Furman with Quizamari the save. The Mariners win the bottom of the 11th against the 59 Dodgers. Sasaki beats Lebin. Scherzer gives up just one puny hit to the Tech Bay Rays and wins 11 0. He's now 3 3. The White Sox score 2 in the ninth. They now got 7 in a row. They're at an 800 clip alongside the Yankees. Falk beats Arroyo and Wilhelm the save. The 1905 Philly A's win 3-2 over Cleveland. Big win. Henley beats Fowler with Myers to save. The 24 Sens win 6-2. Zachary beats Nabolt. Toronto win 6-2 over the 94 Expos. Wells beats White with Ward to save. In the 10th inning, the 62 Seals score 4 thanks to Odell beating Madsen. Home runs by Orsino. Orsino. McCovey and Mays. Kansas City scores in the bottom line. Frank White helped them out as Kansas City wins Farnsworth over Mayer. And Baltimore 14 0, but Slayton was in a, a reliever. Anyway, Cincy over Pittsburgh in the National League 7 6. Gullet beats Drayback with Dibble to save. The 75 Reds win 5 1 thanks to Norman over Holland. St. Louis beats the 57 Brew Crew 10 to 8. How did he have 10, 10 at bats? That just doesn't make sense. 
I have to see the box score. I mean, like, why would, how could you have 10? You have 10 at bats. Oh, I think they're counting the double head. Oh, they're saying the double header. 7 for 10. Okay. I was like, what? That don't make sense. Yeah, there was a double header. Sorry. I guess they counted as two, as one separate, one game. So anyway, St. Louis wins the first game 10 to 8. Wainwright beats Bull with Sutter the save. Brooklyn wins 9 nothing. Spooner does his job winning his first game of the year. Myers drops to 1 and 5. Washington beats the Flushing Mets 8 1. Rogers beats Cologne. Giants go to Arizona 1 7 2. Lensicum beats Webb. The Miami Marlins win 7 6 over the 54 Giants. Close one. Hernandez beats Jansen with the save. The 99 Braves got dropped 12 2 in Los Angeles. Vance beats Chen. The 2005 White Sox get one Uribe to get us a home run off of the 44 Browns. Marte beats Galehouse. Rockies beat the 1918 Red Sox 4-2. Estes beats Bader with the Lyle save. The 2001 A's narrowly win 5-4. Hill just beats Krypta. Bradford the save. Philly crushes Houston. The 86 actual 17-0. Wow. Meyer beats Nepper. Mets beat the Braves 10-7, thanks to Benitez defeating Sane with McGraw's time save. The 2004 Red Sox got the walk-off against the 2009 Yankees. Folk beats Rivera. The San Diego Padres crushed Baker Bowl 15-5. Hurst beats Bang. The Cubs beat the 85 Blue Jays 3-2. Samarano beat Key with Marshall to save. Lots of home runs for Milwaukee against the 2017 Twins. Holdrick beats Hughes with clear the save. Well, Minnesota had Kepler, Buxton, Polanco, Mulder went twice. Max Stano, Burnett, and Braun went two. So that's six home runs. St. Louis gets the sweep over the 57 Braves. Tudor beats Troutbridge with Hebrowski the save. The 1932 Cubs beat the 1919 Black Sox. Grimes beats Sullivan with Moose in the save. The 06 Tigers went 10 4. Ponderman beats Stark. And that's it. Alright, so let's finish off today. Tomorrow we'll see the 1905 A's take on the Indians. That will be a 7 o'clock game, I think. Yeah. Rube Bodell versus Sun and Sam McDowell. Here are the power rankings. The White Sox are number one, Cincy, and the Yankees. The worst power, the worst power ranking team is the LA 59s. The top team that's not a all-time legend team, the Candlestick Giants are 20th. Mozilla Lou have five weeks for the um Miami Legends, so that's brutal for him. Posey's out for six weeks for San Francisco. Sports Radio. Well, that ain't good. Chris Baker will be out for five months for the 1920 Indians. Wow, that's just brutal. Chet Labs is the NL top player of the, of the week, and Lou Garrett is the first baseman of the start. League standings were at 35 games. That show the leaderboards on the other side too. Yale East Yankees lead by four. Boston five two and a half on Tampa. Yale Central Minnesota up by half over Detroit with Kansas City three and a half back. The Yale West the Angels two up on Oakland with the 93 Giants four back. The Yale North the White Sox lead by five over Cleveland with Seattle eight back. You'll see Cleveland in on the 1905 and the and the wild card Detroit, Boston, Oakland, and Cleveland but all oh, make it in. Candlestick's not that far off. You see the Yale leaders, Ted Williams, one slot Gonzalez, George Seisler, batting average home runs, Robinson, Ruth, and Hamilton, RBI's Bagwell, Dimaggio, Hamilton, stone bases, Cobb, Collins, and Victor Anderson. Man, look at Ted Williams, 2.7 
War. Hidden Street Bully William. It's a twenty one minute hidden street. I don't know if that's all time or if that's just as of right now. Wins, Gitry, White and Faber, three gets Richard, Narine and Santana, War, Jaws, Scott and Duncan. Braves one up on the Mets and Phillies. Pittsburgh half up on Milwaukee, three and a half on St. Louis. San Diego one up on LA, two and a half on San Francisco. And the NL North, Cincy four up on Washington, 75 Reds. LA Mets and Philly are in the wild card hunt with Milwaukee and San Francisco only half back. See the batting leaders, the Mays for the 54 Giants leads David Ray and Rogers Hornsby. Paul Merrill and Greg Thomas have gone deep the most. Well, well Paul Merrill for the 95 Orioles and Greg Thomas for the 05 White Sox. Yeah, Baltimore Cows. That's the cover for you. Robert, Frank Thomas is number one in the RBIs with Andre Dawson and Chuck Klein right there. He's on bases. You see Reigns, Milton Nelva Hunty, War, Mays, Ray, Tolo, Chuck Klein's got a 25 game hitting streak still to this day. Oh, man. Martinez, Chris Short. So, yeah, you should be well up to date.